Okay, we're, we're going to get started in five minutes, but before we do, I just want to give you a little bit of the rundown tonight because we have lots of new teams here. Make some noise for all the new teams this year. Yay! Now, as, as some of our returning teams, oh, do, I have, do I have like a film on my face right now? I should move over here. That's going to be a thing. How about these lovely photos and these lovely posters? Are you excited to find out who won the poster competition? We have so many new teams here, and as the returning teams will tell you, this competition is very addictive, so watch out, new teams. I'll see you here in 10 years' time. Um, but uh, I want to tell all the new teams of what we do tonight. So we're, we have awards in 25 categories, which is pretty outstanding. We had, because we had 28 teams make a movie, which is incredible. Let's make some noise for all of those awesome teams. not every film is going to win an award. That would be silly. We don't, we don't, we don't just give every single team uh, an award here. But what every team will win tonight is a lovely experience, and hopefully you've had, you've, hopefully you've had a great time. I hope you've had a great time making the movie, that you're going to share your movie and keep getting the feedback on it, and also that you might make some new connections tonight that will help further your filmmaking. So that's a little bit about what we do tonight. We do a little bit of networking. Now, of course, with everything that's been going on, COVID, etc., um, you know, I think if everybody's in this in this room tonight with us, then you're you're happy to meet people and to talk to other people. But uh, if you if you don't want to mix and mingle with with other people, I totally understand that. Please just you know just kind of move to the back of the room or you know, but, uh, because what? what <laughs> So somebody, somebody did ask me if we could do like socially distancing in this room, and I, I, it's not fully possible in this room. But um, uh, if you're uncomfortable tonight at all, if you think it's a little bit too crowded, completely understand. We're going once we start the awards and everything, we're, go we're going to live stream it to Facebook. That's fine. And if, if you feel it's a little too crowded, that's I totally understand. Total respect to that, and feel free to to take a break, and we'll be live streaming it on our Facebook. But anyway. What we're gonna start with tonight is just a little bit of a chance for you to meet some of your fellow filmmakers. So what I'd like for you to do before we begin in the next five, 10 minutes, go find, just five minutes is funny. Find somebody you haven't met yet, if you're comfortable with that, and just find out what movie they made, and you tell them what movie you made, and you find out what, what movie they made, and then I will interview you about who you met, and we'll do, do that in five minutes, okay. Did anybody else like the glade? Yeah. Woo! Okay, Luke says it was one of his favorites of the night. Did anybody vote for the glade? Yeah. Woo! Okay, well, we will, we will be finding out who won the audience award later. And tell us which film Luke made. Uh, it was with the making. Uh, he done the score and that was great for it. A damn good job, so that was A damn good job, she said. Round of applause for Wakey Wakey and Woo! I met the wonderful Ian uh, of uh, A Time to Die fame. Brilliant. Love him. Love him. Did anybody like A Time to Die? Woo! And Ian is lovely. He's taking a lovely video for us, which he's going to post to YouTube, which is brilliant. We're also streaming this to, to uh, Facebook Live as well right now. Ian, uh, who did you meet? I met Harvey, and it was one of my But it was the very first film, and I thought it was brilliant. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Laughed. Very good. And that film was? The, the, the Glade. The Glade! Too much Glade chat! We've got a lot of Glade chat! Let's find another film. Over here, yes. Who did you meet? Um, I met Jo. She made the box on her own. Jo made the box. And Jo, can you tell us who you met? Well, I was actually... <laughs> I was going to say Kathy. And, uh, and they, they did the uh, Delicious Vengeance. Yes. I saw the Delicious Vengeance. Single, single. Okay, make some noise. Did anybody like the films? The Box. Yeah. Yeah. I love Delicious Vengeance. Yeah. Yeah. Make some noise. Yeah. 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 Okay, uh, and over here, who did you meet, my friend? Uh, to be honest, I'm really bad I have no we idea. We met people. <laughs> There's people. Yeah. Okay, you met the team from Delicious Vengeance. Yes. Yes. Am, yes. am I saying that? Yeah. 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 And can you tell us what this lovely person, what film this, what film this person made? Boxes. Boxes. Boxes from Rock and Roll Pictures. Okay, round of applause for these lovely, film, lovely filmmakers. Right, okay. we, are, we will be doing a little more of that later, but it is time. 
time to announce some winners. Would you like to find out who won these awards? Okay, let's go. So, so, the way this works is, call your name, come to the stage, accept your award, give us a speech. Minimum 10 hours, please. <laughs> now, um, okay, technical difficulties hopefully aside, we are uh, attempting to live stream this to Facebook there, so hello Facebook over there, and oh, I think I might have finished again. Oh, it's just because of the Wi-Fi in here, that's what the issue is. But that's okay, I, I, I will, I will uh, tell the lovely people on Facebook, Ian here is recording a video that we will just, he will share with me and we will post a video. I don't know why I'm telling you, you don't need the video, you're all here. Um, but uh, I, I, I'll send a me message to Facebook and then we'll start the awards. So give us two seconds, continue chatting amongst yourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, and everyone outside the box, inside the box, everyone, welcome. We're just gonna get started without a microphone. I can project, I have a theater background, hello. So if you wouldn't mind being a little bit quieter, it's just to do with the Wi-Fi not connecting to the mobile microphone uh, sound. It's not that interesting. But anyway, if you wouldn't mind this thing up, I'm going to announce the winners of the awards. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure they will get the microphone working shortly, but I just can't wait. And I know that there's not many trains tonight and people are like, what time am I gonna get home and just get on with it, Sam? So I'm just gonna get started. I'm just gonna get started and I'm sure we'll get the microphone working again shortly. Um, the lovely, awesome Chelsea's gonna make it all happen. Shout out to amazing Chelsea, amazing Hannah behind the bar. Woo! So, but don't worry, we'll be fine. We'll just, we'll just get started this way. Now, uh, this year, we have nominees. And where do I keep them? I kept them in my brassiere. <laughs> so, uh, we have nominees in every category, which is quite fun. Um, so, I haven't... I, 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 can, I can kind of post this list of who was nominated, but you're just gonna kind of have to remember if you were nominated for something. Okay? Let's begin with the award for the best hair dryer. <laughs> so, uh, as I said, when I say the winner is, when you win your award, come on up, receive your award, give us a speech. Maybe at one point there'll be a microphone, maybe not. You don't have to give a speech, up to you. The nominees for best hair dryer are As the Leaves Fall by Any Thinkers. <laughs> the Box by Awkward Turtle. <laughs> wakey Wakey by Drop Shack. <laughs> And guys have got it by the Stewarts. And the winner is, and I think most people would agree that this is the best possible thing to do with a hairdryer. Wakey wakey team drop shot! I mean, who, who enjoyed that movie? Make, did you enjoy Wakey Wakey? Yeah. Yeah. Um, right, this is called the Be Yourself Award, okay? This is the award for the best use of Be Yourself. It was a pretty good line of dialogue, I have to say. We've had some difficult ones over the past years, but this was one everyone really embraced, and this, uh, the, the, the nominations here, they all really embraced it in a big way. The nominees for Be the Be Yourself Award are Awakening by D. King Productions. <laughs> the Box by Awkward Turtle. <laughs> Lou King for a Roll by G. Screenwriting Society B. <laughs> Swa Twa Mom. Am I saying that right? <laughs> a lot of foreign, a lot of foreign film names. Uh, by All Things Considered Productions. And the winner of the Be Yourself Award. Make some noise for Awakening by D. King Productions. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. Okay, Debbie, here you are, my dear. Thank you very much. Would you like to say anything? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's so old school. We don't need a microphone, we don't need music. We're all here together. You know, the best part of this is we're all in the same room together, just getting to be with each other. I so missed this the last year. So nice to be here with you guys because you, it, it's not the same on Zoom, is it? 
Um, that being said, we will get some music going soon, and we'll get the microphone back, and we'll get we'll get the vibes coming back. But right now, I'm really feeling this acoustic vibe. Anybody else feel it? Yeah. yeah. So this is I love that I love that that we had Lou King this year. So instead of calling this the best use of character, this is just called the best Lou King award. <laughs> so the best Lou King award nominees. I also love that we're doing nominees now. We'll do this forever for now. The nominees are Curtain Call by Glasgow Force. The Glade by Aircraft Productions. Killing Lou by Enfant de la Pastries. Short Fuse by Hubland Pictures. Jillian, we said you might be watching on Facebook. Oh, Oh, you did come. I'm waving you at the camera. You're over there. Hello, Jillian. Okay. and the winner of Best Lou King Award is Killing Lou by Enfant de la Pastrie. Are you here? Are you here? They're not here. Would anyone else like it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, most, no, that's okay. Okay, how are we doing? Oh, wait, what? We have a microphone. Whoa. Whoa. Round of applause for Chelsea. Thank you, Chelsea. Really appreciate it, Chelsea. Um, Chelsea, if it is working, would it be possible then to have the music again as well to kind of do the yeah? <laughs> just thank you. She's awesome. I am so appreciative of, of her and everyone here at the Flying Duck. Awesome venue. They have always been so kind to us. So thank you, everybody at the Flying Duck. Um, so, wow. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great place. Yeah. Everybody. We started it old school, we started it acoustic, now we've gone Bob Dylan in Newport, we've gone electric again, we've got the music, we've got the vibes. Um, and uh, just gonna come back to your awesome sound engine. Thank you so much, Chelsea, you are the bomb. Um, thank you. So, um, best use of genre is the next one. Is this working to fade it up and down? Is that okay? I mean, I can do that. Honestly, she is amazing. Round of applause for Chelsea. Best use of genre, the nominees are One True Cowboy Prevails by Cheesecake Ends. Adjoiners by Samson Films. A lot of love for Samson Films. Uh, Parallel by Cataldo Productions. Oh, I should be telling you what genres these are because it's the best use of genre. Okay, best use of genre. One True Cowboy Prevails. That was a soap opera stroke western. Adjoiners was a soap opera. Parallel is a romance stroke thriller. And the next, the final nominee is Cooking with Cherry by GU Screenwriting Society, a food film stroke drama. All quite niche genres, wouldn't you say? But the winner is One True Cowboy Prevails. Facebook as well. It's all happening. So happy. And we're all here together. The the nominees for best sound design. And the nominees. Uh, Okay, are there any sound artists in the house? Scott. I see you, Scott, on right in there. Uh, Well, the nominees are Obsession by Clueless. One Up by Komara. As the Leaves Fall by Any Fingers. And One Flew Over the Coconut by Tree Bench Tree Bench Films. And the winner of Best Sound Design is One Flew Over Coconut by Tree Bench Films. Are you here? Are you here? Now? Are you here? Uh, okay, well, you know, so anybody else want it? No. <laughs> 
Special effects. This is a good one. Yeah. Okay, the nominees for best special effects. One up by Kamara. <laughs> the Obsession by Clueless. <laughs> and A Time to Die <laughs> by Ian. <laughs> I love Ian. Who met Ian at the screenings? <laughs> and the two more nominees Curtain Call by Glasgow Force. <laughs> Watch Yourself by Sparkle Motion. Is Sparkle Motion here? Yeah! And the winner for Best Special Effects is... one up by Kamala. Yeah. 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 Man, here, give us a little speech if we like. I'm really glad everyone might see me get hit by a car. Yeah. <laughs> Get us excited about making movies. Any costumers here in the house? Anybody who had some good costumes? Make some noise, okay. And the nominees for best costumes are it's just like the Oscars, except much, much better. The nominees for best costumes Cooking with Cherry by Genius Screenwriting Society Group A. Watch Yourself by Sparkle Motion. The Glade by Aircraft Productions. Adjoiners by Samson Films. And finally, Ian. A Time to Die by Ian and Skynet. And the winner for Best Costumes, massive, massive kick ass round of applause for Sparkle Motion! All of these films again if you missed any of them. Watch uh, watch Max's film, watch yourself, Spark Team, Spark Emotions film, because it wasn't just the costumes, the judges also loved the hair. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's part of the costume. Thank you, Punk Rock, DC Punk Rock in the house. Best production design and the nominees are The Obsession by Clueless. <laughs> Wakey Wakey by Drop Jack. One Flew Over Coconut by Tree Bench Films. And Curtain Call by Glasgow Force. And the winner. And the winner of Best Production Design. Massive, massive round of applause. Go crazy. One Flew Over the Coconut by Tree Bench Films. Every time there's not somebody here, I'm just gonna dance. So. <laughs> so, speaking of awesome music, who here had some original music in your film? Yeah! I mean, this is a tough one. There were two musicals on the first yeah. night. That was amazing. Uh, and then there was lots of uh, beautiful composed soundtrack music. Just gorgeous. Mwah. Beautiful. Um, the nominees for best music. I think every, the first nominee, I uh, think everybody has been singing Sneezy Mood and Condescending. There you go, Team Drop Chat, Wakey Wakey. Okay. Music, the next nominee, this was a beautiful, I mean, Yan Tiersen, Eat Your Heart Out. This was Swa Toy Mom by All Things Considered. Woo! I'm gonna leave by Big Time. Uh, shout out for the next nominee, Breakdown by Cherry Man Media. Yay! One Up by Kamara. Woo! And finally, beautiful piano music in the film, Blue King for a Roll by GU Screenwriting 17. Yay! Finally, make some noise, sing along, whoop and cheer, go crazy, go crazy for Breakdown. The winner is Breakdown. Yay!
our sound man who wrote all the music with our lead Felicia, it was his birthday tomorrow and he's so hungover he nearly came tonight. He's gonna be so angry. <laughs> who threw an entire bucket of water over herself instead of the actress when we were splashing uh, the actress in. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everyone! Wait a second, David, come back here. I'm giving you the wrong award. This is your award. Don't look at what it says. Don't look at what it says. <laughs> Speech, speech. Okay, David, come back here. The winner for best choreography is Breakdown by Jimmy. Hey! Hey! Well, well done to our actor Felicia, who was absolutely petrified about how she looked for that. So she'd be really glad that she's won an award for it. She was funny. So thank you, everyone. Yeah! If you haven't had time to watch all these movies, if you didn't make it to the screenings, or you just made it to your screening, please, please go on our YouTube playlist. Watch the films, watch David's film, watch the choreography. How often do we get a film with choreography? That time kick is brilliant. She looks, honestly, it's a scene out of, it's La La Land in a Scottish kind of glen. You need to see it. Uh, it's great choreography. Uh, and that brings us on to best editing. I should call this Who Can Subsist on the Least Amount of Sleep Award, right? Uh, make some noise for those editors burning the midnight hours. And the nominees for best editing, the nominees are Lou King for a Roll by GU Screenwriting Society Team Media. Breakdown by Cherry Man Media. Wakey Wakey by Drop Shark. And The Obsession by Clueless. And the winner for best editing is Make Some Noise Go Crazy for The Obsession by Clueless. Hey! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Safina. Make some noise, round of applause for Safina. get through and nominations. Does everybody like that there's nominees yeah. this year? Yeah. It's cool, right? Yeah. Honestly, go and put it on your YouTube later if you got nominated for anything. Go make it yourself a badge or whatever you want to do. Tell everybody, tell the world I was nominated. Okay, do we have any cinematographers or camera operators in the house? Well, the award for best, now the nominees for best cinematography are One Flew Over the Coconut by Dream Edge Films. Woo! The Glade by Aircraft Productions. Yay! Blue King for a Roll by GU Screenwriting Society TV. Woo! And the winner for best cinematography is One Flew Over the Coconut by Dream Edge Films. If the team isn't here, I'm just gonna dance. Because uh, Felicia isn't here, David, otherwise she would be, she be dancing. Do we have any actors in the house tonight? So much good acting out there. Um, you know what? You know what? The last two awards, we did editing, we did cinematography, very, very important awards. And there's a real skill to that. I always say, though, really, people are looking at the person on the screen. That person needs to be compelling, they need to be real, they need to be authentic. Uh, whether or not they have any acting experience, if, if, if we are engaging with that person on the screen, that really makes a good movie. So how about a big hallelujah to all the actors out there who took part. History, we are giving I, that I can remember at least. We've probably done this one before, but I can't remember that. We're giving an award to Best Supporting Actor. So we'll start with that. 
Now, with our acting awards for the past several years, we haven't differentiated by gender, so we just give an acting award regardless of gender, as we do with all the other awards as well, by the way. So the award for Best Supporting Actor, the nominees are Miley Stewart for Guys I've Got It by the Stewarts. Anna, Anna Flink for A Joiners by Samson Films. Billy Gilchrist for The Glade by Aircraft Productions. Yay! And Rachel Flynn for Soit Toi Mom by All Things Considered Productions. Yay! And the winner for Best Supporting Actor goes to Gilly Gilchrist for The Glade. Okay, who doesn't love a bit of a script, right? Hey, I made the playlist. If you don't like it, come talk to me, okay? I haven't been out much in the last year or so, so I don't remember what songs are cool. But um, we've got one more award, and then we'll take a wee break. After the break, we are going to do that funny network thing again. Uh -huh. and, and then after the break, we will be announcing the Audience Award, of course. And uh, the award for Best Film, the award for Best Writing, Best Director. Uh, and of course, they were for Best Poster, and they award for uh, the, what we call the Talk of the Town Award for the best YouTube comments. But before we take a break, the nominees for Best Actor are Marcus Donaldson for Liu King for a Role by Jesus Rachel Anderson for Sweet 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 for One Flew Over the Co Coconut by Dream Edge Films. Rebecca Copeland for As the Leaves Fall by the Anythingers. And that wonderful choreographer, dancer, Felicia Gray for Breakdown by Cherry Man Media. Yay! And the winner for Best Actor. Make some noise, go crazy, whoop and cheer for Marcus Donaldson for You Yay! 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 Here, Marcus is here. Make some noise for Marcus. I mean, honestly, it's the first time doing this. I mean, all, the guys at the, the Screenwriting Society are amazing. And I can't thank them enough for you know, letting me uh, be in it. So, uh, yeah. Woo! Marcus, you're absolutely brilliant. You may, honestly, your presence is a huge part of that movie. If you haven't seen Marcus's movie, go, or the team's movie, yeah, sure. go and see it. You're brilliant. Make some noise for Marcus Donaldson. We're going to take a break. We'll see you back here in 15 minutes. Uh, so yeah, is that available online? Uh, not yet, but it will be soon. <laughs> <laughs> when it is, uh, I should go with you get a phone message. Oh, thank you very much, John. Thank you. <laughs> Shout out for Harvey. Harvey was the maker of The Glade. <laughs> okay. Who else? Raise your, raise your hand if you've met somebody tonight so far. Raise your hand if you want to tell me. Yes, who have you met? I just met Ian. Ian, make some noise for Ian. <laughs> We love Ian, we love Ian's posty. Okay, who else, who else, I'm gonna come, I've extended my lead, I'm coming deeper and deeper into the uh, theater here. Who else, who else has met somebody? You met anybody? You met me, right? Yeah. It's Abby, David, and Moxes, and also Monty from Moxes. They're really nice to send you a message, just like after the screening, and they're like, oh, they film. Like, it was nice to just network with them for a bit. Make some noise for a wee bit of networking. It's nice to just meet people because you know what? It's different on Zoom, isn't it? It is different. And it's nice to just have a casual chat. Okay, have you met anybody interesting tonight? Yes, who have you met? Joe? I already know. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We've already. Everybody's hiding in the back there. But can you, can you shout out in the back? Have you guys met anybody in the back? Who did you meet? Who did you meet? Hi, Alex. I met Robert. Woo! I think that's plenty, guys. That's plenty of networking. But I would encourage you all. Honestly, one of the big take. I always say one of the big takeaways from tonight is. Two, meet your fellow filmmakers, because that's how it all happens. That's how it all happens. 
I was just talking to the I was just talking to the lovely Rachel Flynn. She flits around to different teams every year, always looking for a new team. And it's fun, it's fun just to find a new team each year, get new people on board. Basically, if somebody wins an award, you know, try to post them for your team. No, I'm just kidding, don't do that. That's horrible. That's horrible. No, 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 but it's nice to meet new people. Maybe we can all come together and make a movie all together. I don't know. Shall we announce some more awards? We might as well announce the winner. Oh, I need my script. My script. <laughs> may have fallen somewhere. <laughs> may have actually fallen on the ground. <laughs> about it, you all voted for it, you all loved it, go crazy, flip out, scream and shout for the Glade from Airbnb. Yeah. came out to the uh, Thursday night screening. Um, did you all enjoy the movies? Woo! Okay. So you all voted, and I have counted your votes. And the winner of the audience award for Thursday night, Go Crazy for Short Fuse by Helpland Picture. Woo! Really glad that you enjoyed it, and um, yeah, it was so much fun this week. <laughs> okay, the astute of you may have noticed that I've swapped, <clears throat> I've taken out the behind the scenes photos, and we're just looking at the posters now. Because now it's time to announce the winner of Best Poster. Fun. It's a great way, like it's a great way to promote your film. It really is on social media, and um, just just tremendous shout out to everyone who made awesome, awesome posters. And uh, just fix it. The guy on the corner is here. Right. Uh, so awesome post. I mean, let's just let's just enjoy them all. That was Aslan's hey. fault. Here's parallel. Beautiful. Woo! Kind of a Hitchcock kind of thing going on there. Woo! Yeah. Awesome movie. Great. I feel like there's a, a kind of a slacker vibe to that, or a Clerks. Woo! Gorgeous. It's got classic. Got the full cast there. Loving it. Yeah. Okay. 
I mean, that is tremendous. Look at the lighting on that forehead. <laughs> Gorgeous. Tells you exactly the tone of the movie, doesn't it? Um, just fun. Movie. We love Marcus. He's our star. Looking at you from Just Me and One Woman Team, her first time making a movie with us, her first time making a movie. Boxes, shout out to Team Boxes, Team Rock and Roll. Sparkle Motion, a Western. Well, obviously that's a Western poster, isn't it? Brilliant. Just Lynn. This team made two posters, how cool is that? Here's their first poster, and then the other second one is later. This one is uh, the Stewarts, and it, again, it tells you what it is. It's a, it's a YouTube film. And then David, all the emailed it to me, like, recently, I think. Oh, then, oh, I don't know. Harvey only, you, you only emailed it to me today. So I couldn't, I, I couldn't get it in the slideshow, Harvey, but we, we did take it into consideration. So you've see, you seen and enjoyed all the posters. And the nominees, yes, there are nominees. The nominees for best poster are Wakey Wakey by Drop Shack. Parallel by Cataldo. Or One Up by Kamara. And the winner for best poster is Go Crazy for Parallel by Kamara. I would just like to thank Abby, who was the genius behind the idea of the poster. And also Alfred Hitchcock could be ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone see the film Breakdown? Yeah! Every year we give an award for a fuzzy friend who gives an outstanding performance. So uh, the winner of this year's Paul d'Or goes to Hoyo Wilshire Gray for Breakdown! Thank you to that girl Bono for being absolutely amazing in this film. Films, go and give them a comment, and to uh, spur you on, we have we are giving an award for the film that's got the nicest comments so far. So the winner of the Talk of the Town Award is a film that not all, I haven't written down the comments actually. I was organized, but not that organized. <laughs> but go and watch the film, and you can see the lovely comments. And this is a film that has had lovely comments on YouTube and a lot of comments in real life as well. So Ian, you're going to have to put down your camera because you've won. Oh, yeah. 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 Thanks everybody. Well loved it. And it's thanks to you all. I've been coming and watching your films for years. And I, I wouldn't have put it all together if I hadn't been for yourselves. Whoa. Thanks a lot. Whoa. I just want to add to that, Ian's film definitely had so many lovely, nice comments on it. On top of that, Ian himself has commented on every single person's <laughs> film. <laughs> He's giving all nice comments. It's amazing that he won, considering he's already given all of his comments to you lovely people. Um, so keep it coming, keep spreading the love. Right, this is another special award that we're doing. And this is called the Progression Award. A lot of film. this is the judge's decision, you have seen many of your films uh, over the years and seen the teams progress. Um, the judges this year, I think I might have uh, cut myself off earlier when I was about to reveal our judges. Um, it's no big reveal if you've, if you've participated before. Brian Coffey, who's the head of Sigma Films. The, uh, Brian's films include Outlaw, King, um, Hallam Foe, 
Perfect Sense co-producer, and you know most movies shot in Glasgow. He's a he's a co-producer on a lot of, a lot of big movies like that. And uh, Carolyn Sinclair Kid, Hopscotch Films, lead producer on Hopscotch Films. They make wonderful things for television with kind of a Scottish theme to it. They also make awesome, cool movies, including all of Mark Cousins' movies, Women Make Film. Their most recent movie is uh, Mark Cousins' re a recent uh, a stor The Story of Film, The Next Generation, which is a lead-on from his last, his original story of film. Uh, Iria Pizzana from Short Circuit, who, uh, now, Short Circuit is the new short film talent development program, at, uh, relatively new, from Screen Scotland and from Creative Scotland. I will be emailing you more, inf I will be emailing all of you more information about this uh, in the next few days, so don't worry about that. There's lots of opportunities there for funding and for events and for opportunities that you should be applying for. Absolutely, you all should. And also Sean Greenhorn from Screen Scotland, who is our funder, and he could be your funder if you apply for funding from Screen Scotland. Um, and as I said, these judges, especially Carolyn, who's been there since day one, um, and Brian, I think, uh, they've seen the teams progress over the years, and um, this is one team that they said, you know, let's give a progression award for this team who have come so far and made an outstanding movie this year. So without further ado, go crazy, scream and shout for The Obsession and Team Clueless. Special award here, um, Proud Scott Award. Right, we we have nominees for this because there were so many. So this was the award this year for outstanding cinematic exploration of gender and sexuality. And we had so many uh, wonderful films uh, that explore gender and sexuality in, in amazing cinematic ways. And the nominees for the and by the way, I should say that the winner of this award will win two hundred and fifty pounds. The nominees for the Proud Scott Award, As the Leaves Fall by Any Thinkers. Woo! Awakening by D. King Productions. Woo! Parallel by Cataldo. Watch Yourself by Sparkle Motion. Swap Wah Mom by All Things Considered. Woo! And The Box by Alfred Turtle. Yay! Go crazy, scream and shout for the box bow for your I don't think it needs to be said, but we are a, of course, we are a welcoming and safe place for everybody to explore their gender and sexuality and uh, be yourself. So thank you everyone for being yourself with us tonight, and we love being with you, okay? Um, so I think we're getting close to the wire here. It's time for best writing. <laughs> And the nominees are Lou King for a role by <laughs> The Box by Awkward Turtle. <laughs> and One Flew Over Coconut by Tree Bench Films. <laughs> and the winner of Best Writing is Lou King for a role, Gene Screen. <laughs>
little shout out to the Chibi Screenwriting Society. I love, I love this, this team. It's been nice getting to know some of the members over the years of the Screenwriting Society at Glasgow Uni. It's so cool. They're all creative and they're all very cool people. And big shout out, they fill two teams every year, which is pretty awesome. But without further ado, it's time to announce the winner for Best Directing. And the nominees are The Obsession by Clueless. Woo! One Flew Over Coconut by Tree Bench Films. Woo! And Blue King for a Roll by GU Screenwriting Society TV. Woo! And the winner for Best Directing Glasgow 48 Hour Film Project 2021 is Go Crazy for Felix Round, Blue King for a Roll. So much. I mean, Felix did. Felix did such an amazing job. Um, every shot planned brilliantly. I mean, really great. So, wow, amazing. So, uh, good luck to him and thanks again. Queen uh, Society. Woo! 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 There is only one award left to announce. Um, I just want to uh, kind of close the evening by saying thank you everyone so much for uh, joining us in person this year and online. Looking at you, everyone who is joining us on Facebook on there on my phone. Uh, looks like it's, looks like this the stream is still is still live. Um, but honestly, it's been so nice to be with you all together to uh, see these movies uh, being made and then to see them on the big screen. Um, we will be sending you more information on what you can do with your film and opportunities that you can find at Screen Scotland, at Short Circuit, and beyond. Uh, so, you know, stay with us on our mailing list, on our socials, or whatever. Uh, I always say, keep telling me what you're doing so I can share it, okay? I want to find out if you're making another movie, uh, if you've got a, a screening of your movie or something, whatever you're working on, something you want to share, send it to me so I can share it with everybody, uh, if you would like me to. Um, I think that's all I need to say. Uh, yes, so, <laughs> without further ado, the, oh, <laughs> Woo! Um, big shout out to the Flying Duck for being so awesome. So, the nominees for best film. Now, I want to say we have, uh, we have money to split between all of these teams, so each four of these teams will be winning, will be winning money. Um, I can't remember how I was going to do that. I think what I'm going to do, I think the easiest thing to do is um, probably we just need, I'm going to tell you the nominees. The, the, uh, there's four nominees, three, the three, uh, all four teams are going to win money, and I'm going to, I'll just email all the, all the nominees separately to let them know um, that, they've, that they've won um, Money and how much, and also how I can send it to you. Um, but I think we'll probably just announce the winner. I'm gonna announce the nominees, of course, but that's what I'm saying. You don't just just the winner can, can come. Did I did I need to say that? No, I, I don't think I needed to say that. The nominees for best film: Obsession by Clueless, <laughs> Looking for a Role by Keith. One Flew Over Coconut by Tree Bench Films. And The Box by Awkward Turtle. And without further ado, go crazy, scream and shout, go absolutely nuts for our winner of Best Film, Glasgow 2021, Liu King for a roll. to everybody. This is an amazing uh, festival. We try to uh, participate every year. Yeah, this is for everybody who worked yeah. like, you know, a long 48 hours for this <laughs> and for everything. <laughs> Thank you very much.
firstly, I mean, like, this is the first time I've ever done this, and this is honestly one that, like, I'll remember this forever, honestly. I, I, I love filmmaking now, so yeah. Well done, everyone. Really, really, really good. Thank you everybody, let's have a drink, let's chat. If you had fun, you can do it again this May in Edinburgh.